I'm gladly obliged to the organizers, especially to, to Jan and, and Gerhard, Gerhard and Jan, uh, for the invitation, for this precious invitation, as well as to uh, uh, the uh, Fetcher Franklin Fund for its uh, constant and superb uh, dedication along our academic efforts. Uh, I'm going to gather the anomalies about any nonlinear Schrodinger equations from time to time very popular that I uh, was encountering or other people detected in the past uh, decades, so to say. It was uh, Abner Shimonyi who who made a smart and lasting observation that there is a peaceful coexistence between quantum mechanics and special relativity, despite the facts that there is an apparent action at a distance in the EPR, Einstein-Podorsky-Rosen situation, and there is a quantum non-locality in the sense of Bell, in, according to Bell's formulation. Now, peaceful coexistence is still there because neither the action at a distance or faster than light communication yeah, yeah. Uh, can, be, can be realized in, uh, in, uh, um, in nature. So they are just apparent features of quantum mechanics. And the reason lies in the linear structure of quantum mechanics. Now, this very reason was then picked up, and the reasoning was uh, sort of inverted by Nicolas Gizan in 1990, who pointed out that if you insert any small nonlinearity into any otherwise linear Schrodinger equation, then this nonlinearity term will open the door to faster than light communications. This time to real, useful, and consumable faster than light telegraphs. Uh, whatever and however, however small this psi dependent, psi dependent, it's psi dependent, but oh, kids, okay. So this guy is psi dependent, this is psi dependent potential in the most general form, whatever small. Uh, and, and however it looks like, it uh, makes you able to, con to construct and sell a faster than light telegraph. If such a nonlinear dyna dynamics can be realized at all. Now, who cares nonlinear Schrodinger equations? Well, uh, you would ask. Now, some people are interested in that, including myself. Uh, uh, first of all, they are very useful as approximate methods. No, you, uh, I don't need to, to teach you of the uh, Hartree-Fock equation, which is a number one mean to uh, calculate uh, electronic systems. Uh, but it is an, uh, an approximate method. Uh, there is uh, an equation called the Schrodinger-Newton equation, which uh, I use uh, this time as, as the test bed for the, uh, the facts of uh, any 
gen generic nonlinear Schrodinger equation. Now, this if uh, uh, let let's see what uh, uh, this equation is in its simplest form, which is a single body equation for the center of mass free motion of a large mass. So usually we uh, think of a composite object, not not uh, uh, an ele elementary particle or just an atom. So uh, M stands for the mass of a composite object, and here you see the standard part of the of the Schrodinger equation, and this is the nonlinear part, phi of psi, as a mean field Newtonian potential. Uh, specified here, you see that it is sourced by the Born, Max Born density represented by the wave function of that single particle. I consider uh, the case when, when the size of the particle is, is more or less point-like. Uh, uh, point For extended objects, uh, the, the equation is, uh, is a bit more complicated. We don't need to go into that, that uh, uh, general case. So this is how our simplest uh, example of a nonlinear uh, Schrodinger equation uh, looks like, and it may be foundational, as uh, uh, was proposed by Penrose and myself totally independently in different times. Now, uh, the, the main feature, the main uh, favorable feature of this a nonlinear Schrodinger equation is that it has a stationary solution, which is a single soliton. And the diameter of the soliton can't be calculated exactly, but it is of the order of h bar over uh, capital G, the Newton constant, times m cube. Now, there are two soliton solutions as well, and we are interested in the uh, simplest Schrodinger cat state, meaning that the uh, uh, beaver, we are talking about a single particle. So the, the single particle, the single body, uh, can have a, a, a wave function, which is the superposition of two separate distant solitons. The left soliton and the right soliton with uh, two uh, uh, different uh, relative amplitudes, they form the Schrodinger cat state psi plus, psi plus or minus. Now, by the mean field, which is the unusual part of the Schrodinger dynamics, when you have the Schrodinger cat state, the two parts start immediately to attract each other. So the, the typical motion may be just this, that uh, if they start from, from uh, uh, at uh, uh, zero velocity, then they, they start to move toward each other, then uh, they overlap, then uh, they uh, run over each other, they are elongating, and they reach uh, the initial distant, distance, and this oscillatory motion will uh, stay there forever. On the contrary, the single soliton solutions, whichever one, the left one or the right one, are static, whereas the two soliton sol solutions evolve. Now, initially, the overlap between the Schrodinger cat state, whichever one of the two, uh, on one hand, and uh, whichever uh, single solitons, the left one or the right one, I mean, the overlap between the single and the, uh, uh, and the uh, two soliton solutions is one over square root of two. This overlap will stay forever had we not introduced this nonlinear term. Or, so this is uh, uh, the influence, typical influence of a nonlinear term that the overlap is not uh, constant because the evolution is non unitary and in our case, uh, since the two solitons start to move inward after a very short time, the overlap becomes zero. 
So the single soliton solution and the double, sol uh, double uh, and the Schrodinger cast state become uh, orthogonal in a time typically of this order where dl l, uh, l minus r is the initial distance between the two solitons of the Schrodinger cat state. Now, catch one is fake action at a distance, which follows from uh, the nonlinear structure of this uh, 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 Newton Schrodinger equation. Uh, the construction uh, follows the, const uh, the, the, the proposal of uh, Gizan from 1990 when he proposed a uh, two qubit faster than, faster than light uh, uh, telegraph. Now, uh, I propose good. So, step zero Alice and Bob are far away from each other. Step one, Alice owns a qubit, and Bob owns, Bob owns the mass. And the initial state, the initial composite state, is a uh, maximally entangled state between the qubit and the mass. Now, Alice measures either sigma z or sigma x. If she measure, measure, measures sigma, sigma z, then the composite state collapses in such a way that Bob's uh, uh, state becomes either sigma left, uh, either uh, the left soliton, single soliton solution, or the single soliton solution on the right. If uh, she measures uh, sigma x, then Bob's state collapses into the two soliton superpositions, into one of the sh uh, two possible Schrodinger cat states, which evolve to become orthogonal to any of the single soliton parts, which means that after a given period of orthogonalization, uh, Alice will have achieved action at a distance because he wa she was able to create two uh, Perfect, uh, 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 perfect uh, uh, distinguishable quantum state, quantum states on the side of Bob, just by uh, um, just by measuring her own qubit. Now, uh, this is catch one an unphysical fake action at a distance. Catch the, this, this, uh, the, uh, the, the meaning of, of fakeness was uh, invoked from Jordan in, in the talk of uh, Hans Thomas this uh, morning. So action without interaction. This is what uh, Alice could uh, achieve uh, via the nonlinear Schrodinger, Newton Schrodinger equation. Now, catch two is just the same uh, if uh, we assume some timing conditions. Uh, 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 I mentioned that the time of orthogonalization is this. Now, if this time is shorter, so after this time, Bob uh, uh, can dis distinguish between uh, the two measurements uh, of uh, Alice, whether she measures sigma z or, she, or sigma x. But Bob has to wait until that time. Now, if that time is, is shorter than the lights, uh, time of light, say, from Alice to Bob, then Alice's action at a distance implies faster than light communication as well. So this is catch two, and this is the most popular, most uh, 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 dramatic catch discovered by uh, uh, and emphasized by Nicolas Gizin. Now, catch three is that you can't evolve mixed state 
if you only have your uh, nonlinear Newton Schrodinger equation. This is valid otherwise for any other nonlinear Schrodinger equations. Consider the same situation. Alice and Bob are far away from each other. They don't know each other. They don't like to cooperate at all. They have some entangled state from the past. Not necessarily this maximal entangled, entangled one, but some, to some extent and it must be entangled. And Alice does not measure anything. Then Bob's local state is a reduced state and it is mixed. And he cannot calculate the future of his local system, which is scandalous, I guess. Uh, and uh, I, I would hate this situation. So uh, the Schrodinger-Newton Schrodinger equation, because of its nonlinearity, does not apply to density matrices, but to state vectors. So Bob is left with no mean to calculate a quantum dynamics. And catch for how much time do I? Three minutes. OK. Uh, catch four is the ultimate one and the most serious one. Uh, uh, we conclude in, uh, in uh, three and a half minutes that uh, nonlinearity contradicts statistical interpretation uh, in general. Suppose any dynamics M not necessarily linear, this is important for us, and not necessarily deterministic. It transforms dynamically the initial state rho i into some rho f, and this map is not necessarily linear. Consider the notion of uh, statistical mixing, the second point over there. We mix rho 1 and rho 2 using statistical weights, uh, weights uh, lambda 1 and lambda 2. And the mixed state is of the standard form. It is a weighted sum of uh, row 1 and row 2. The weights are lambda 1 and lambda 2. Now, if you understand von Neumann standard theory, you understand that mixing and dynamics are interchangeable. I mean, in standard uh, uh, quantum mechanics, they are interchangeable. So if you do mixing first, and then you apply dynamics, the left-hand side of this equation over there, or alternatively, you let your states, row one, go through the dynamics, row two, you let go through the uh, dynamics, and then you do the same mixing. The results must be the same. This follows from uh, von Neumann's uh, book. Now recognize that it, this equation is just the condition of linearity. So this is how uh, the statistical interpretation of uh, quantum mechanics excludes any linear ev evolution for the density matrix. And in, uh, in, uh, in uh, the non-trivial cases, it excludes any non-trivial, non uh, 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 say, potential at the level of the Schrodinger equation. So this interchangeability between mixing and dynamics excludes nonlinear Schrodinger equations. And without this interchangeability, the statistical interpretation collapses. And now we come to the surprise. This catch is non-quantum. It's just classical statistical. You may read or may not read, if you don't like, about this in, in my book. Uh, on uh, quantum information. And let's come to the summary. Uh, it's important because uh, uh, morally, I wouldn't charge totally against uh, uh, non-linear uh, non uh, equations. They 
deserve attention in, in, in foundations. Just anyone who are dealing with them must be aware of its basic uh, deficiencies. They allow any, any nonlinear Schrodinger equation, allow for fake action at a distance, which may be extreme weak, like in case of uh, Schrodinger Newton. They allow for faster than light communication, the real one, may be too hard to be realized. I, I put uh, the excuses, the, lo the loopholes in parentheses and in smaller letters after each uh, deficiency. And nonlinear Schrodinger equation does not allow for local dynamics unless you prepare a pure state. So if you want to calculate the future of your local state, first you, you have to do uh, uh, an ideal measurement, and they, then you, uh, uh, you may go, go and calculate uh, the future of that uh, uh, pure state. I don't really like this, this constraint. And nonlinear Schrodinger equations do not allow for the standard statistical interpretation. So if you are smart enough, in a sense, as smart or smarter than von Neumann, then you may substitute, you may, get, you may deny standard statistical interpretation, but then you must substitute it by, by something else. Thank you very much. <laughs>